So here I am at the homepage of Prep AI Basics. So this is the free account. What you can do is enter a title for your quiz or your test. So I'm going to name it, what is digital literacy? I don't know, I'm just making that up. And now you can decide where you would like for Prep AI to pull the questions from. So are you going to put in topic? Are you going to have it do a topic search? Are you going to type or paste something into the content box? A video is another option, but video is part of the free package. So you won't be able to use that unless you pay. And then finally, are you going to upload a PDF or a .dox, which is a Word doc, and drag it into the um, source content? So I think I'll start with topic search. So I'm going to type in digital literacy, and I'm going to see what it comes up with. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that was instantaneous. So looks like there's a nice paragraph here. Obviously, I want to go in and I want to read this paragraph. I want to see what this is, um, in, what it includes. I want to see if it's relevant to my students. I also, if I was, you know, wanted to be very specific about the results, I could actually go back into ChatGPT and stay within my digital citizenship thread here and add a new prompt that asks summarize digital literacy and digital citizenship. So ChatGPT knows that this is a middle school curriculum and is going to write in a way that will be, number one, it will reflect what we've already covered in terms of the content. And number two, because it's aimed at middle school students, this will be language that they're familiar with or comfortable with, and it will be um, something that I wouldn't feel that the students would have a hard time grasping. So I'm going to just copy paste this and just see what Prep AI comes up with. So I'm go back to this box. I'm going to click on the type or paste text. I'm going to paste the text in here and then I'm going to click generate questions. So this is what Prep AI came up with. There are actually 20 questions. So you see the number of questions over here under categories. They created four easy four medium, zero hard questions, uh, six true false, two descriptive, and then four fill in. So what you can do now is go through and decide which ones you'd like to keep and which ones you want to delete. And you can do that by either clicking on the type of question. So the first category is easy. I can see which ones are here. Then I can, if I decide I like question one, I want to leave it in there, that's great. Or I can edit the question and either change the wording or choose a different response. Then I can also go in and just decide, you know what, I don't like this question. The way that it's written doesn't look good. They've put too many options in the first response. So I'm going to deselect include question. So now I can go through and do that for this particular section. Then I can go down to the medium section and decide, do I want to include these questions? true, false, and descriptive. If I want to generate all new questions, you can start over, or you can go into the preview questions paper. And this is actually the total number of questions. So right now it's 20, or it was 20, I deleted two. So it's 18 questions. And then you can see it in this layout and you can decide which one you want to get rid of, which ones that you want to keep. So take a minute and make some questions or make a topic based on, um, something that you're working on, and then decide how you might want to um, have these questions generated and the topic search, the pasting of the text, the upload, the PDF, or if you want to get a video, you it will actually transcribe the video and create a quiz or a test from the video. So go ahead and check that out now, and then we will um, take another look at some other features of Prep AI.